What's up, YouTube? So, real quick, I think I fixed the audio, so that's good. Um, however, when I recorded this video, um, I, was, I don't know what happened, but it, the camera wasn't in focus. So for a good bit of it, it's a little blurry, but um, I think the audio is good, and that's really what matters because I'm just kind of doing busy work on camera. So um, go ahead and listen to it. You can watch it. It's really not that bad. Um, it's kind of a longer video, but there's a lot of information in it that I think could actually help a lot of people and encourage them to save their own seed. So with that said, I hope you guys agree that the audio is better, and sorry for the blurry video parts. Um, yeah. Anyways, real quick, all these trays over here at Willow, stop touching the camera. Stop. Chill. Calm down. Calm down. I get it. You're not loved enough. You don't get scratched on the head and belly rubs and stuff enough, do you? Nope, never. Anyways, all of these trays are, um, all of the lettuce that I pricked out in the video. Uh, so I got, what I get? Seven trays. I had eight, but on the way out of the barn the other day, I dropped one and it landed upside down and I lost everything. So I've got seven trays, which sucks, but it's still really good. Um, it's a lot of lettuce. Uh, so yeah. There you go. That's what it looks like all done. And here's the video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like it. What's up YouTube? So today we're going to talk about the importance of saving your own seed. This is a tray of lettuce seed that I've got to prick out today. Um, so there's six varieties of lettuce in here. Seven varieties of lettuce in here. Six of which that I saved and the one that I didn't save. I bet you can tell which row that is. Um, so, and it's actually brand new seed. Um, hold on, I don't want my tripod thing to fall. Um, so, you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Disappointment. I'm actually going to email the seed company and be like, what the heck is up with that? Because this is all my seed. This is the stuff I just bought from you this year. That's unacceptable. Um, so, with that said, there's a sugar snap bee in my lettuce. Definitely a sugar snap bee. Don't know how that got there. Um, anyways, I'm going to talk about the importance of saving seed if it's not obvious to you now. And then, as I do so, I'm going to be pricking out these little seed links and putting them into a um, 128, probably the Haas tool seed trays. And uh, real quick, before I have to get into that as I'm doing it, um, I start them off like this and then I prick them into a tray and that pretty much guarantees that um, the soil in every cell of that seed tray is used. It's not just a tray with like half of them from lettuce that didn't germinate and then I don't have to waste any seedlings that I'd have to thin out of the tray. Um, I don't know, I just really like doing it that way. And plus, who doesn't like looking at an awesome tray like this? Like it's just so lush, especially first thing in the spring, like this is what a gardener likes to see. You know what I mean? All right. All right, so hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, I have another tripod inside that I was going to try and use and stick it through the window and angle down, but that's just too much right now. I just need to get this done. So I've got my seeds or my seedlings and I've got my trays, Haas Tools trays. They're awesome trays. Put a link in the description if you want to check them out. I use both these trays and then I also use the Never Sink wind strip trays. These ones are awesome too. So I'm going to be transplanting and pricking out the lettuce, putting them into the Haas Tools trays today. So, just make sure there's no little twigs in my seed starting mix. There's some really nice, I don't even know if you'll be able to see it, but these are my biological seed starting mix. Uh, this white fluffy stuff, probably not picking it up 
Anyways, just believe me, it's mycorrhizae fungi that's starting to bind all of the particles in the soil together, making a nice clump, biological, like really healthy seed starting mix. So it makes sure my plants get off to the right start before they even get into the ground. That's awesome. If you ask me anyways. Um, anybody else will look at me like I'm a nerd. And I wouldn't blame them. Um, so, let me get this tray filled up real quick for you, and then I'll talk about the importance of saving seed as I'm pricking the little seeds out, seedlings. Okay, so real quick, I've got the tray all full, all padded in really well. Um, I like the soil in all of my trays to be in there nice and firm, because one, it fits more soil in there, which it's just more nutrients for the seedling. And two, the soil doesn't compact down as much. Um, so you don't really, like, it looks like you have a lot of soil in there when you just loosely fill it. But then when you start watering and as the plant grows, it starts to, like, go down and then it dries out faster. When the soil is a little more dense inside each cell, then um, it retains water a lot longer. So that's another bonus to it. Um, I'm just going to push all this up here. So, whatever. When I'm starting seeds, I soak my tray. Um, like, I pre-soak it, and then I plant the seeds, put a really light layer of soil on top of them, and then just hit it with the hose real quick just to moisten that top extra layer of, seed, of uh, soil. Um, but I'm not going to do that when I'm pricking out. Um, so, yeah. I'll soak the tree or the tray um, after I have all the seedlings pricked out into it, and then that'll just set the soil around the root, and then that'll be it. Um, so let me get started on showing you how to prick out the lettuce. <clears throat> so I like to use a little tiny dowel rod, and I just take a pencil sharpener and I sharpen one end. Um, you can get a pack of dowel rods at any little craft store for really cheap. Um, I also, I got like a variety pack and dowel rod sizes. They're like, I don't know, a foot long because these are six inches long. Um, so, yeah, I just cut them in half. I use this. It's just a dowel rod with a thumbtack on either end, and I put some red uh, marker on it just to make it stand out a little more from when I'm in the field transplanting. But this size dowel rod, what is it? I think it's a little under a half an inch um, or a quarter of an inch. Yeah. Um, it fits into the holes of the tray. So being that you can't squeeze the plastic like you can on a cheap tray, um, I like using these little guys and you just pop all the transplants out. Like you can hold the tray and just pop a bunch out, transplant them, pop a bunch out. Or what I like to do because like I've got Lyme disease and I don't like like bending over and being on the ground for too long. Um, I'll stand at a table, prop the soil or the tray up on me like this, hold this pop all my seedlings out and then put all of my seedlings on a serving tray like you'd see at a restaurant where they go and carry the uh, stuff around and then I'll take the serving tray out to the garden and I'll just plug all my plugs in real quick and it just saves me time and keeps me from being on my knees or bent over a garden popping stuff out and planting so that's another little tip um, <clears throat> so that's what this was for uh, real quick, actually, this is like my favorite tool for transplanting. I'll go into a video about that, but I also just cut the dowel rod and like stuck one in the bottom so I can just have my little tool instead of having two things out there with me. I just have one, and I can just go and pop everything out real quick. But this will be another video. So, there's that. Um, the variety that didn't germinate too well for that lettuce was. Rogue Ren... I don't even know. I don't know. Something. Some French variety. Um, I'm just going to put that back in there. Uh, so, I'm not transplanting that. Actually, what I am going to do is take a really good picture wherever my phone is. Take a good picture so I can send it to the seed company. So... I don't know why this lighting just got all funky. 
There we go. So, let's see, hold on. Come on, camera. Okay, so that might end up being the thumbnail to the video too, we'll see. Anyways, let's prick out some lettuce. So I gotta find my little tag in there somewhere. Here we go. So the first one is outrageous romaine. It's a red romaine, the first, um, one of the first plants to be grown on the space station. Um, it's an awesome variety of lettuce. I love it. Um, so anyways, what I do is I take the pointy end of the dowel rod, kind of go down, just scoop it up and kind of work out a little bunch of plants. Just like that. Hold them in my hand sometimes. Kind of just lightly break them apart. Grab the seed by the cotyledon because they don't have true leaves yet. Hold it by the cotyledon. Then I just make a hole and kind of just plant it. It's pretty simple. Um, anyways, guide it in there. Pack that little guy in there real gently. Grab another one, keep going, blah, blah, blah. Pretty basic. Um, Pearl's Delding actually does a lot of pricking like this. Um, it's a method that growers have used for a really long time. I love it, it works great. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Now let's talk about the importance of seed saving. So obviously, all of my varieties of lettuce that I saved last year are better than the one that I bought at the store. Um, it's not always like like that significant, but um, this was just, it kind of just worked out that it is that significant to kind of prove how your stuff almost always, depending on how good of a seed saver you are, will almost always be better. Um, especially when you grow with methods that are regenerative and build the soil and create an extremely healthy environment for the plant to get established in before it sets seed. Because uh, just like in the video from last week, I mentioned about the chicks that I hatched out. Um, the chicks that are hatching from my eggs versus eggs that I get from other people um, tend to be healthier and more resilient. So what I've come to realize is that it, the saying, you are what you eat, it couldn't be more true. Um, so if you look at my chicks, or my chickens, not my chicks, um, I'm jumping ahead of myself. If you look at my chickens, they're all raised on pasture. They're fed organic, corn and soy free, non-GMO feed uh, that I ferment, and I rotate them on pasture. So they're just really healthy birds. Um, and then if you look at their eggs, their eggs are super flavorful, they're super rich, they're super perky, they last a really long time. Um, and when they hatch, the chicks are super healthy, super resilient, and it just proves that you are what you eat. Like Carol, Paul's wife is a midwife, and she talks about nutrition and her prenatal things and blah, 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 blah. Um, this is about gardening, not birth, so I'm just going to keep it simple. Um, anyways, like, you got to grow a really healthy baby and a chicken since it's not really, like, in the hen. It's an egg that has to be hatched. You have to grow a really healthy egg in order to hatch a really healthy chick. Um, so, focusing on diet for the chicken when you're hatching eggs is really important. And the same goes for tying this all back to seed somehow. Um, so the same goes for your, not just lettuce, but anything that you're growing out for seed. Um, when you're saving seed, you want to really focus on the health of the plant that you're going to be saving seed from. That's why you only save seed from your best plants. Um, there's some wind coming through here, so I hope it's not messing the camera up too much. Um, Anyways, when you're saving seed, you're saving from your healthiest plant. Like, as I'm transplanting right now, I'm going through, and, like, this one is not as nice as this one, so I'm getting rid of this guy and only planting the best of the best. 
because that's all I want. Um, so, what was I saying? Um, yeah, you're picking your healthiest plants, making sure to take care of them, making sure you grow out your plants to be the healthiest plants they can be, to ensure that the seeds that they produce are super healthy, super vigorous, and will continue to carry on really strong genetics for your future plantings. There's some more, let's keep going. Um, so yeah, uh, another thing, when seed farmers, like commercial seed farmers, are growing their seed, it's just monoculture basically, it's a big long um, field of one or two crops, and then they grow the plants out, then they're harvesting the seed from all of the plants. They don't really, they sometimes they'll go through and like, for like good practice, they'll go through and pull out the plants that aren't meeting standards and then they save seed from the majority. Um, that creates a genetic diversity, but it also is a genetic diversity with the best of the best and okay plants and when you're saving seed at home you only want the best of the best you don't want to save seed from your okay plants um, so yes don't forget that that's very important um, other than that it's pretty basic um, Obviously, this isn't the best video to talk about how to save seeds. I'll do videos like that throughout the season. I was hoping to get a video done um, while I was saving the seed from last year, but that didn't happen because I was just trying to get it done. Um, but I'll do it this year because I'm definitely going to be saving more seed. Um, so, yeah. Let me just jam out and get this tray done, and maybe I'll think of something else. So, anyways, hold on for a minute. I'll time lapse this video real quick. And, uh, yeah, I may or may not have some more stuff to tell you. So, stay tuned. Okay, so. The importance of saving seed it just came to me one of the other main things about saving seed is that when you buy from the store I don't have a store pack with me right now but when you buy from the store you get a tiny amount of seed for a lot of money three bucks for a tiny amount of seed is a lot of money so um, let's see like this is one of a few packs of kale seed this is actually uh, merit collard crossed with the kales that we grew last year so this kale variety kale slash collard variety since it's in the same brassica family can have perennial genetics so i'm going to grow a bunch of this and see which kale varieties have the perennial genetics of the merit collard so we'll have perennial kale which would be pretty fun so that's what all of this is and there's a ton of it in there it's kind of hard to see camera doesn't want to focus for whatever reason um let's see so we got trout back trout back and I think there's a couple of them. Hold on. All right, so both of these packets are the same variety of lettuce. I just didn't put them all in one bag. Anyways, look at that. That is a ton of lettuce seed. It's not picking up. Bummer. Um, anyways, that's a ton of seed, and that's only from, I don't know, I'd say, I'd say probably I saved about five or six plants. Now think of all the plant. So one seed produces one plant. Five, five to six plants that I saved last year produced all this seed. Now if this seed was divvied up to about, I don't know, 800 to 1,000 seeds per packet, which is average for uh, what you'd get in a lettuce seed packet, for three bucks, there's probably, probably close to, I'm willing to say $75 worth of just trout back lettuce seed right here and that's from six plants that I saved seed from last year um, not to mention all of the winter density lettuce there's a bunch here I've got a ton 
of Yugoslavian red butterhead. There's some more winter density. Um, these are three really thick packets. Yugoslavian red butterhead. Another big packet of outrageous romaine. Outrageous, but with red in the middle of it. Um, three big packs of just kale. Some crisp mint. And another packet of winter density. So it's a ton of seed, and there's only like five to six plants worth, like, of each variety. So that alone, if you're trying to be frugal, which you should be, because there's no sense in just blowing money on gardening when it can be super cheap. Um, so forget trying to be frugal if you're just trying to be smart and save money and grow a ton of food because that's why you're gardening because you don't want to go to the grocery store and spend money on a bunch of garbage food that's not even real let alone good for you or healthy um save your seed it's so important like it's almost i'm just gonna say it, it's almost stupid not to save your own seed like if you're not doing it learn because i mean it's so easy so anyways if you don't know how to save your seed stay tuned because obviously like I said throughout the season I'm gonna try and do some seed saving videos so I can help further educate you guys and teach you how to get really clean seed not, a, not just saving seed because a lot of people save seed and then it's like messy and there's like little bits of debris in it and chaff and all kinds of stuff um, but if you look at my seed if the camera will focus, let's see, probably not. I don't know, if you look at my seed, it's super clean. Like it's like seed company, like style clean. And sometimes seed companies aren't even the cleanest. Um, I really like to make sure that when I save seed that, okay, I don't know where it cut me off, but the video just stopped um, when I was on a rant, so. Anyways, moral of the story is save really clean seed. I'll show you how to do it in the videos to come. Um, it keeps your seed from like going bad when it's in storage over the winter if it's not in the right type of storage, which I can also do a video on. Um, so, yeah. Clean seed is important. I hate when the camera cuts off and I don't even know where I was at. I'll have to go back and watch the video. But. Goose is going off or something. Although he just does that just to do it sometimes. So, halfway done with this tray. Pretty cool. It's not taking that long at all. It's kind of relaxing to do. I like it. Um. Like I said, I like it. It's fun. You can do it on a rainy day, sit in a greenhouse, sit in your barn, sit in your house, wherever you want to do it, and just prick out your seedlings. Tease the roots apart. Finish this row before I forget and just don't even get it planted. go. It's that simple.